Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Wakona Weekly. This time, I have for you some information on what the Green Umbrella Club has been doing. I have some information on what the French Club did this week. I have plenty of sports updates that have taken place since our last episode. And I have some brief mentions along with some upcoming events that seniors may take interest in. This Friday, the Green Umbrella of Wakona went out to Boston to participate in an international strike, the Youth Climate Strike. This is a strike that took place in various places all over the world, demanding some form of action on climate change be made. In particular, the Green Umbrella members went to the City Hall Plaza in Boston to partake in this protest amongst an estimated 10,000 others. The protest was inspired heavily by the now quite famous Greta Thunberg, and it was organized by Massachusetts Climate Strike. Overall, the protest is expected to be one of the largest global protests over environmental action. Green Umbrella went to the protest because their goals aligned quite heavily with it. Green Umbrella works all throughout Wakona in an attempt to an aid environmental protection. Last year, one of their larger projects was implementing a recycling system in the cafeteria so that many of the non-biodegradable items that would typically be thrown away and end up back in the environment instead ended up being properly recycled or used for composting. Going to this protest will be Green Umbrella's jump off point for the year, and they plan on meeting together soon to figure out their plans for the rest of the year. Green Umbrella typically meets on the third Monday of each month in B15 after school. If any of this sounds like something that you would be interested in, we highly recommend you contact Miss LaSage. This week on Monday, the French Club met to have cheese, bread, and drinks while discussing their upcoming field trip to the Clark Art Institute. There were a variety of cheeses to enjoy, which I tried out myself. Besides that, there were a few other food options and beverages, all provided by the members of the club. The trip will be a joint trip with the art major class. We look forward to seeing how it goes. For sports, the cross-country girls beat Monument Mountain in their latest meet. The girls' team scored totals of 23 and 42, and the boys' teams scored totals of 44 and 46. In the girls' top 20, Haley Crozier came in 4th, and Olivia Gambaroni came in 15th. And in the boys' top 20, Hayden Kendall came in 9th. And in another game, the girls' cross-country team beat Pittsfield High. In boys' soccer, Wakona topped Hoosick Valley 8 to nothing. Easton Eberwine scored two goals, and Donovan Keegan and Aiden Traeger each scored a goal as well, each of these players either adding in, in an assist or setting up other goals. And additionally, Kevin Huben had multiple assists and even got himself a hat trick. Likewise, Kevin was nominated for the Mass Live Athlete of the Week. Later on, Kevin would aid the team further, supplying a total of five goals in their 6-1 win over Taconic. The sixth goal was given by Brody Calvert. In volleyball, Wakona defeated Mount Everett, winning four sets out of five, losing their first. Cassidy Kramus, Kaylee O'Brien, Faith Wainer, and Megan Doan each added plenty to the team with various digs, kills, and assists. And in their competition against Monument Mountain, they won all five sets. In particular, Faith Wainer had 11 aces and 11 digs, aiding the team in their victory. Alongside her, Hannah Rose held five aces and five kills. For the golfers of Wakona, Wakona beat Mount Greylock 197 to 207. Caden Frazier and Patrick McLaughlin both scored impressively with a 46 and 48 respectively, and Mike Cullett and Emily Fajila did likewise with a 48 and 49. Wakona also defeated Taconic 197 to 213, in a competition that saw impressive scores from the aforementioned individuals and also Dan Wilson. And lastly, the Wakona Unified Track and Field team was given the Story of the Year Award at Dalton CRA's inaugural Hall of Fame. On Tuesday of this last week, the annual Back to School Night was hosted at Wakona. Parents were able to meet with their children's teachers and familiarize themselves with the expectations of those classes. Recently and into the near future, college representatives have been and will be visiting Wakona in order to talk to seniors and inform them about their respective colleges. Any seniors that attend to go to college should look into these visits and see if they would like to sign up to see them. As for the future, on the topic of college, there will be a college fair at BCC on October 2nd for seniors to go to. Like the visits, this is a chance for seniors to communicate with reps and learn more about schools. Permission slips are not yet due, so we suggest that those interested give it some thought and maybe come along to see the offerings of the fair. Those are the stories we have for you this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to Dalton Community Television's YouTube channel to receive updates on our videos. Also be sure to check us out on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you have any suggestions for us to cover, be sure to let us know through the survey in the description. This has been Aiden, Zach, Anthony, and Ryan bringing you Wakona Weekly. Thanks for watching.